I've gotten some comments recently related to a video I made about a coffee that was self-heating and used a silica-based thermite to provide the energy to heat it. In the original video, I showed that removing the outer can and activating the heater resulted in a molten blob of aluminum, which resulted in many comments about the aluminum melting and mixing with the coffee. The thing that I think is easy to forget is that when it's operated as intended, all of the heat produced is absorbed by the coffee, which increases its temperature while also preventing the aluminum from getting hot enough to melt. So I thought it might be interesting to share with you what it looks like when this can's in operation without any cuts or edits or speeding things up or slowing things down. And make sure you listen for a little puff of gas that indicates that the initial precursor reactions happened. Now personally, I think it's a bit of overkill to use a thermite to heat a cup of coffee, but there is something to be said about taking advantage of the chemistry to be able to go from something that's at room temperature to about 65 degrees Celsius in under three minutes. That's pretty impressive. And if you found this interesting, please share it with somebody who also might need a little bit of science in their life. Thanks for watching.